so hey guys welcome to my channel my name is sharifa and thank you guys so much for all the support all the help i do appreciate that so today we have a vending machine vending machine right here as you can see we have a column that's empty and this is our new location it's our newest location it's in a ford dealership it does pretty good um the good thing about this location is it has a lot of food traffic and it was worth the money um as you can see i'm trying to fill the machine obviously um taking out the pepsi the normal pepsi it does sell but it sells slowly compared to the pepsi max this is the only location that sells pepsi max for me anyways but other than that yeah everything's going good so far um Everything has been going really good, really, really good so far. We have made our money. We haven't made all the money back on this specific location. That's because we've just finished paying off the machine. This machine was around four thousand dollars. Five thousand. How much did it cost? Really, it did cost four thousand eight hundred dollars. So nearly five thousand dollars. Um, and just so you guys know, yes, machines are definitely um, a bit expensive. They are very expensive, but they are worth the money in the long run. Um, as you can see there, we are trying to change um, out some. So what I was doing is I was just getting some uh, 250 mils of energy drinks. Um, I moved. I moved, I believe I've moved solo from there and I moved raspberry from there just to put on two extra cans of uh, 250 mils of energy drinks. Energy drinks do sell really well and I do I do um, like giving them so what I do is I just moved the solo and the uh, raspberry down to the next column yeah other than that there is a good part about it there it is there it is oh my god i think we had about uh 20 dollars in cash at 25 yeah it's around 25 and then we had uh yeah so we had 25 dollars of notes there we are 25 i was right guys so we do have 25 dollars of um notes and we also have this machine does have a card reader and the card reader outperforms everything so i have owned this machine for a week now and it has made around 135 four dollars and sixty cents into um credit card you know card sales so it's doing really really well and yeah i'm not complaining it's also smashing out those um those sales in um in cash um it's 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 definitely worth the money uh, should be able to bring back all the money that we invested in within a year at least um, as I said this is a learning process I just moved into the vending machine business um, it was something I watched on YouTube and just jumped straight into it I bought seven machines uh, yeah I did buy seven machines and uh, right now I do own eight machines on eight machines I have two coming on board within the next um, next month so by the 11th of next month I should be able I should say I own 10 machines and then I have one location that has come available in my area um, put in mind these machines are all about two and a half hours away from my house so it's always you know it's always crazy how all most of them just have like machines away from their house and um, they're just like an hour to you know two and a half hours away if you look at uh, people like Jeremy these machines are away like two hours and 
you know, it's always a bummer when you forget your keys. Um, since you can't just pick up and then you just go back, yeah. So, yeah, basically what I'm doing, I think I'm trying to change prices there. And then I failed. I failed and then I got the machine to do a test um, a test vent so I had everything fall out of the machine it was the craziest thing that could ever happen but other than that I was you know it's a learning process every machine is different some machines like I am really good with Sorrentos um, Sorrentos are Chinese machines I believe they are very very reliable although I'm gonna say American machines are also good Although I would rather choose a Sorrento over an American machine. That's because the parts are cheaper and if you know your machine, you are definitely going to get what your money, what your money is worth. Um, you just need to specify the machines you have and learn about them. It's, it's always a learning process. Um, as you can see, I'm looking at the machine and I'm going, what the hell is happening here? I don't know what's happening I don't know I couldn't just call the person that sold me uh, the machine because they live like um, 30 minutes away and my 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 phone was the one recording right here and I'm going oh my god and if you look at the card where this machine is located it's a car dealership they close at 5 and they always want me to be there at around 4 and the machine took forever ever ever to get there um if you look at that um that's that's the actual uh this is a vending machine that made me you know believe that mountain dew is a good seller i've watched people like jeremy um i've watched uh polar bear doing uh mountain dew and it's selling really well for him in america so i decided why not let me try out mountain dew it's doing really really well it has kicked off really well with all my other locations doing really well so proud of myself um yeah so you know if you guys like please comment like subscribe a new video is going to be coming out just after this just after this um that is a collection video so this is uh, a new machine that I'm really really excited about I can't wait to look at it it's doing it's it's just killing it it's making about eight hundred dollars a month um, this is by looking at its past history and it has not failed me like in this is its first week and I collected 35 35 dollars um, of change in notes and then I think I collected about 25 in um, coins and they're 140 something dollars in card so yeah definitely a machine that is worth keeping um, I do have other machines that do not perform as expected but they should be able to pick up because I'm getting new locations um, guys don't be afraid of pulling machines and try something else when you get the phone calls go ahead and do not let um, people who own the location boss you around because at the end of the day you are providing a service and if they're not if they do not have 25 employees plus just tell them um, unfortunately I'm really sorry I cannot supply a machine here this is because I'm not going to be getting enough business or sometimes try them out give them a combo small combo machine if they rip it out you know if they kill it give them a better machine that's what I do other than that I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching my video um, please comment like share subscribe make um, Tell a friend to tell a friend, like my videos. Um, yeah, other than that, thank you guys very much for watching. I do appreciate that. Um, I would like to say a big thank you to Paul Bear for all the support, all you know, all the sharing and everything like that. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers. Bye.